Okay, so Priyanka, please introduce yourself. Hello, sir. Uh, myself Priyanka Garan. I am from Pune, and I am currently pursuing my bachelor's degree of computer science uh, in Balaji Institute. And uh, alongside my degree, I have entered for the data analysis course in Fusion Software Institute um, to strengthen my skills in uh, uh, data analysis and uh, data manipulation and interpretation. And during the course, I have learned Python, uh, where uh, with the essential libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. Uh, these tools have helped me uh, to uh, visualize the data, analyze the data, and uh, I have also gained hands-on experience in creating meaningful charts and graphs uh, to communicate insights clearly. And I have also uh, learned the uh, exploratory data analysis (EDA), uh, where I have focused on practic practicing uh, trends and patterns and outliers from the data. And I'm enthusiastic about uh, building a strong foundation in data analyst and uh, contributing to the data-driven decision-making in the future. Thank you. Yeah. So, what are the strengths and weaknesses you have? Professional those strengths and weaknesses you have? Uh, my strengths are my willingness to learn and adapt quickly. Uh, I'm good at understanding concepts and uh, I, am, I enjoy solving problems using data. And my weakness is time management. Uh, initially, I was struggling with the time while balancing my studies and learning new tools. Uh, but I have started using planners and uh, setting clear goals to improve my efficiency. Good, good, very good. So, yeah, next question will be, why you want to become a data analyst? I want to uh, be a data analyst because I am curious about uh, the work as a, how the work happens uh, as a data analyst and uh, in the back end, I would say. And uh, I am interested because uh, I like to work with data, that meaningful uh, data, um, finding out the insights or trends. So, I choose data analyst field. Okay, great. And uh, what, are, what are the long-term and short-term goals you have? My long, my short term goal, I would say, uh, is to uh, uh, gain all the skills uh, that I'm learning in the data analyst course, and uh, I want to gain the real world experience. Uh, and my long term goal is to uh, get a post or get a job as a senior analyst and leading projects, and uh, then guiding the junior analysts and learning the new tools and technologies uh, up them in the upcoming future. Okay. Yeah. So, can you tell me why this Python is very important for the data analysts and for the data scientists? Python uh, is important because uh, Python has the most powerful libraries in that, uh, which is very important and that helps for the data analyst and data science uh, to so find out their insights or I would say to get the proper output from that uh, as a data analyst. So Python is very important. Okay, great, great. And if you want to um, uh, handle large amount of data, so Python language is very important for that. Yes, and it yes. will work efficiently. Okay, great. Okay, so can you tell me about the conditional statements? Why we why we need to use conditional statements in Python? Yes, we use a conditional statement uh, because uh, if we want a certain output from our data for uh, according to the required condition, then we use a, a conditional statement uh, and we have the conditional statement if, elif, and else. These are the three conditional statements. Okay. Uh, how that if conditional statements work? Can you tell me the flow? Yes. Uh, if uh, if condition after if you will write elif and else. If condition if if condition is executed, uh, then the block will get inside the elif condition. If it gets true, then it will execute it, or otherwise it gets executed to the next block like elif or and after that else else okay if i'm only i'm having only if condition i don't have else part i don't have elif part so what will be the how that if statement will execute it if we if we'll give we will give the condition as per our requirement in the if that uh, we want certain condition and if that condition is executable or if it gets uh, uh, true then uh, it will give us the output that we are uh, so if we want that output Okay, suppose with the if condition, I'm not pass any, uh, we can say any comparison operator, any condition I'm not passed there. I'm just passing a number with the if, then I'm passed the number and then I'm given the black of, block of code uh, there. So what will be the output? With the if, I'm given the numbers and then I'm passed the block of code. So what, what will be the output? That block of code will execute or it, it will not execute? No, if we'll give the print uh, statement, then only it will execute, I think. Okay. After if. Okay. So, with the if part, we always pass the condition. And that condition will evolve, and that con condition will be evaluated for the true or false. Yes. 
okay so if you pass number with the if first you give the if then you give the number so that number will be evaluated for true and false okay if you give one with the if so the one uh, that once boolean value will become true yes. okay okay if you give 10 if you give 20 what will be the boolean value of 10 and 20 there it will be true there so with the condition if the if condition if the true is there at that time the block of code will be executed if with the if there is a zero at that time that block of code will not be executed so if i pass the number with the if that block of code will execute always until and unless you give the zero if you give the zero then that becomes false and that code will not be executed okay okay great uh, can you give me the scenario where you will use if elif else scenario i would say uh, if you have the i would say instagram id user id if we give a validate uh, user id or um, to the uh, user is giving a proper id uh, then if condition will uh, execute and we will uh, log into the instagram uh, if the id is uh, wrong or it is uh, incorrect it will uh, say login not successful okay uh, what about the if elif else I'm, I'm have, I want to do, I want to get this particular scenario where you will use if, elif and else there. In the code. The code. So I have to tell the examples. Yes, yes. But uh, I will say valid email also. I can take the example of valid email ID also. If we will uh, insert the email ID and if it contains uh, means valid, uh, for example, at the rate or dot, it is a uh, compulsory in the email. Hmm. Uh, for domain if we, uh, we will uh, give a proper email id it will say uh, if uh, the will give the condition uh, if uh, it contains the uh, at the rate or the dot inside the email then we will print that valid email id or uh, else we will say that it is invalid email invalid email id okay uh, can i use this if else for the for the week weekday like if you pass one you will get monday if you pass two you will get tuesday if you pass three you will get wednesday so for that particular code purpose, can I use if elif else there? Yes. Uh, okay. We yeah, we can, can use, use it there. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, so my next question will be about your lambda function. What is the lambda function? Lambda function is an anonymous uh, function uh, which is defined in line, and uh, it is a uh, it is a single line expression. Uh, we write in a shorter syntax for we want the quick uh, quick or small operations. We use the lambda function. Okay, and how that filter function will work? Uh, filter function uh, will filter out the records from the, uh, if we have any condition, uh, on a specific condition, the uh, filter function will work and it will give the uh, uh, output, uh, which is uh, give, uh, satisfies that condition, uh, which it uh, executes or evaluates to true, then it will uh, give us that output. Can you, can you spell or can you write down the syntax of filter function here? Okay, so I'm giving giving you one condition. There is one list, and from that list, I want even numbers. So, can we use lambda function there, or we have to use map function? Uh, no, we will use a uh, filter function for uh, extracting the even from the list. If we have the numbers, uh, and from that we have to filter out the records of even uh, or odd, then we have to use a filter function. Okay, so along with the filter, we can use lambda. Okay. So inside the filter function, we can use lambda. lambda. Okay, and then when we use map function? Uh, map function is used when we have to apply any uh, specific condition or uh, any, then on the uh, full or e each and every element in the iterable. Then we use the map function. Map function. Okay, okay. And what is the difference between your user defined function and the lambda function? User defined function uh, means the it is created by the user uh, and the lambda function uh, I said uh, it is anonymous and uh, it is a single line expression and we use it for the quick output or uh, okay okay great uh, can you tell can you uh, tell me the syntax of lambda function verbally Lambda function uh, uh, is anonymous, so we call. Uh, we we have to not write any name. We have to write lambda, and after that we will give a, a parameter inside that. Uh, give the co colon, and after that we will write the condition, uh, whatever we want it, and after that we will write the user defined function if we have created or any built in function. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.